Welcome to Crafts at Home today and um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a tea light candle holder using a glass and some serviettes or napkins you might call them. The first thing is to choose your napkins which maybe have an overall pattern. So you can see this one has quite a nice overall pattern as does this one here and so does this one. The design is everywhere so that it's easy to tear up. Next you'll notice that your napkin is made up of several layers and we really only need to use this top layer that has the printed image on. These others we can peel off and discard. This will allow the light from the paper to let the candle holders um, show through. Then you're going to need a glass that could be any kind of a glass. Quite often you've got glasses at home that maybe have um, been damaged in some way. They might have a little chip or a flaw or it's the last of a set and you'd like to be able to do something with it. So what I'm starting to do now is to use a very, very soft bristle brush and I'm using some podge and I'm painting that onto the glass. Podge is a product that we use in decoupage, so it's um, readily available. I use the brush to lift up pieces of the serviette and lay them down onto the actual glass by spreading just some of the podge over the top. To begin with, I'm using the cut edges, in other words, the edges of the outside of the serviette, um, just to line up the edge of the glass. I find that these are nice and straight, so it saves having to trim them down a little bit later. So I'm going to work all the way around my glass, just using these cut edges. You want to not press too hard while you're working with your brush, because the actual serviettes are incredibly delicate. So just lightly go over it and just make sure that your brush has always got a bit of podge on it. If your brush starts to get dry, you're going to stand the chance of actually ripping up the serviette. And then from there onwards, it's just a question of, oops, that can happen. <laughs> it's just a question of um, completing the design by layering it up. So you do need to be prepared well before you actually get started. Um, it's a fantastic way to recycle things. You might have a flower pot, a plastic container that doesn't look great anymore. And if, as long as it has a light color background, um, other words, um, something that is white or even transparent like this glass, then you're able to decorate. You won't be easily able to decorate something that has a dark color unless you paint it a light color first, simply because the serviettes themselves are so transparent. So you can see that this is applying very easily to the glass and you just continue in this whole way until you've finished right the way around, which you can see doesn't take long. Lovely way to make a quick gift for somebody. And um, by having my fingers on the inside of the glass, I'm able to rotate it by just wiggling my fingers around and makes it really, really easy. The colors will show up a lot more once the actual podge has dried. So they tend to look very translucent at this stage, which might be a little bit off-putting, but you will find that they get a nice depth of color once the podge has dried. So just to save a little bit of time, I'm going to tell you that you would now continue to do this. Smooth out your podge as you go so that you don't have any ridges of it, and then just set this aside and leave it to dry. I like to put mine onto an ice cream lid, which is plastic, so that the actual paper from the serviettes don't stick to it. Then, depending on what kind of serviette you've used, you'll find that you end up with a nice little container that's got lovely colors, and all that remains for you to do is to pop your tea light candle in there and to light it. Here is one that I have already lit. This was a serviette that I used with the hydrangea design and I graded it from the pink at the top down to the actual purples and the light shines through nicely. But difficult to see in daylight, but it does show through beautifully. And um, yeah, it's as easy as that. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and put a layer of varnish over to protect it, but it's not really necessary because you're not going to be actually washing these at all. So a couple of nice candle holders with an old glass, some serviettes and some podge. I hope you've enjoyed this and please join me again for another video on crafts at home.